soap, which is this is Aizen. Um, I have come to realize that everyone and everything is just a tool to be used. Good friends can be used so that we achieve high things in life. Bad friends are a tool for us to learn. Every possession that we have can also be a way to <coughs> get a different standing of life. You know, homies. <laughs> homies will bring us to different places, different times, as in different eras, like the Great Depression, depending on the kind of homie you got. I want everybody with bad friends to know that they're gonna be fine. I wanna, um... Friends bring us to different physical places. If you're a very observation-based person, if you can take in a lot, if you're highly sensitive, then no matter where you go, you've been a lot more places than somebody who's not like that. Because you can notice every detail, and even if you don't notice the details, since you're so sensitive, it will go directly into your subconscious. And if you've made a good friend, a real positive influence on you, if this person helps you achieve things, if they help you feel like you've done something with your life, then you'll find enlightenment. The most enlightened of us you'll find are the most charismatic people. The ones who we think of as leaders, the ones who everyone thinks of as real cool when it's the first time they ever met them. You know, these people that walk up to your LGBT group and <clears throat> they just say one or two words and suddenly everyone wants to be their homie. If you ever end up getting over the shyness, if you have it, then you'll find that these people have been a variety of different places. And you know, they might even be mentally ill, which is another place, although it's not physical. Um, These people are who ends up being our valedictorians, our homies, our frickin' uh, prime minister, I guess. I don't know, Trudeau's not charismatic, he's just hot or whatever, but it's not like I'm trying to smash him. I, I only want them frickin' under six foot dudes that are frickin' 20, but they look like little porcelain dolls. And they just don't frickin' eat, right? Those are my favorite type of dudes. Just, and any guy frickin' cute and he wearing women's clothing or any kind of hippie. But, <laughs> holy frick, I'm frickin' baked. <laughs> the charismatic people in your life, if you ever speak to them, you'll find that they come from a variety of different situations. But it isn't just situations of the most obvious form. It's not just, oh, yeah, guess what? My frickin' parents are broken up or whatever, which is super common. I know all y'all homies gonna think that this relates to you, but nah, bro, because everybody's marrying the wrong person or something. Or maybe women are just getting more liberated. Who the frick knows? They're... They've been in a bunch of situations because they've had a lot of homies. And I gotta say, that that's how they get good at it. Because when you're forced into so many situations, you know, you gotta meet your homie's parents, and then your other homie's parents, and your girlfriend's, uh, you know, her dog or something. It brings you into the same situation so many times that you'll know exactly what you're doing. Now, I'm not speaking from experience, because I don't have a lot of experience. That's the point of this video is that, you know, I'm just telling other people how to frickin' save time on this. But what I'm working towards is more experience, right? Obviously we all are on some level. But if you're really working towards being super cool and charismatic, boyo, um, ah, damn it.
So basically, meet as many people as you can. There's a reason why small talk was invented. There's a reason your dad or whoever is super frickin' into talking to random people. It's because there's value in it. Obviously, you don't realize this if you're you know, kind of young or kind of dumb or kind of mentally disabled or whatever. And people don't think the universe would be like it do, but uh, it do. That's why it's called that. Uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, no matter what kind of homies you have, if you're getting an experience, no matter how free an experience is, you're paying for it by your time. Uh, no matter what you spend your time doing, they say if you get 10,000 hours on something, you'll get really good at it. That's how you tell that you're pro. Even Billie Eilish knows that, and I know you know who Billie Eilish is. Don't freaking lie to me, you little animal. You're spending all your time on Instagram. You're spending all your time texting your homies, and that's what you'll get good at. You know what I've done for most of my freaking time? Stare at the wall, be patient. Uh, I've I've done a lot of watching YouTube videos, mostly documentaries. I really like documentaries. That's what I do on the weekends. I also have a really bad habit of surfing Instagram. I go on there to talk to people, right? And you know, the whole algorithm is just scroll, 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 and what the hell am I going to scroll to see? A bunch of freaking posts by 14-year-olds, because they're the only freaking interesting people in terms of their content on Instagram. Because people my age be like, oh, hey, do you want to see a picture of my food, my dog, my grandfather? No. You guys are posting the same content a 12-year-old posts when they get their first social media. So don't even freaking try. I don't care what kind of... Freaking food you're eating. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to tell everybody I want to make avocado flavored vape juice. Uh, this tastes like avocado, but it's Pepsi flavor. Everybody to see Evie and see how beautiful she is. I want everyone to see her. She's so beautiful, you guys. She's so pretty. I wish I had an infinite amount of mirrors so I could show you what Evie looks like. She's so damn beautiful. Oh, I have an idea. Infinite mirrors, you say? Well, I got just the thing. It's called makeup products. So this is my Jeffree Star collection. I got the Shane Dawson palette. And the Mini Breaker palette. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? No, I can't see. Because my baby girl don't got that much good screen time. Oh wait, that doesn't work. Oh no. Are we getting it yet? Is she beautiful? I want them to see my baby girl. Um, as I was saying, <laughs> every time you meet another person, you gain their experience if they tell you of it. As a mentally ill person, I've had many mentally ill friends. They all love telling me their story. If at this point I've, I've absorbed all their stories, I just befriend people who really love telling me stuff about their lives. I'm always there to support them. <clears throat> I'm always there to tell them if they did something completely right. That's what homies are there to do. When it's raining cold, and I can snow, no you won't be there, I'm playing with you know, and you're coming back, I'm all cold, rain on you there.
No, I just want to support him.